G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here. And today we're looking at Rack and Slay. Now you may be thinking, I've already covered this on the channel before, but that was the demo. The full game has just released on Steam today. There's a 10% launch discount as well. I think I paid about eight bucks for it or something like that. It's not expensive at all. Um, so definitely check it out if you're interested. I will leave a link in the description. And if you're not familiar with Rack and Slay, basically it's a billiards roguelike dungeon crawler. Uh, it sounds weird on paper, but basically this picture sums it up. You play the billiard ball and uh, you have to pot or sink the enemies and avoid the hazards. And uh, every run is different. There's unlock, there's items, there's all sorts of crazy stuff happening. It's really good fun. Um, so I'm a bit out of practice. So I'm going to start on just the basic mode today on the base difficulty. And uh, let's have a look at some of these game modes. We've got a dungeon crawl. We've got a delve, which is just a short challenging dungeon. We have a one level raid. But I think I'll just do the, the uh, standard crawl which I think is, uh, you know, the equivalent of a, you know, typical 30 minute roguelike run. Now there are daily runs and wild runs as well, which are unique. But we have to complete a level to unlock those first. Let's get straight into it. So we start off with an item to choose. We can get the Impaler. Before your first shot in each level, spawn a spike that surrounds you until it kills an enemy on touch. Or a bomber, after the first turn in each level, throw four bombs around you one time after the first turn okay when you touch an enemy with a wild ball you shoot one mini ball in a random direction okay i like the idea of a bomber that sounds chaotic and i'm uh i'm all for chaos although we do have two free rerolls uh now i'll sit with the bomber that was after my turn i throw four bombs so this is the stage as you'll see these red balls here are the enemies and they're just normal enemies with no special features as described there, so I can just hit those around and try and sink them in the holes. There's a bit of gold laying around that I can grab to spend in the shops. The gem's worth five gold, there's some healing items, and there's a treasure chest. Now the chest spawns... Okay, when I hit it, it spawns a coin. And 10% chance it spawns a gem. There's also these little uh, boosters and things like that. To be aware of as well. Now this enemy is different. A berserky it shoots itself towards me at the end of each turn. And uh, what's this? A little stopper. Okay. What I might do, so I've got my, oh no, no. I've got my power, which is uh, the bomber power. So after my turn, I'll spit out some bombs. So I'm wondering if I can somehow sneak in here. Guess not, but um, try and just edge in there. Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Great start. Great start. Uh, but those two enemies are dead, so I guess not all bad, is it? I'm going to come over here and smack him. Hit the chest, which is nice. Got another hole, that's okay. Just going to try and knock those into each other. I'm three for three. Putting the white ball, that's really good. So I've lost a bit of a fair, but anyway, I cleared the level in time. So you do have a shot limit, which is currently 10. I think you can increase that with different items as well. So what can I get here? Gourmand. At full health, you can collect one healing pickup each level to increase your max health. Okay. Or I can get bomber again. So what do I what do I get if we get two bombers? Not quite sure that changed anything. I think most of the items do stack in some way. You just stop accidentally doing that. Um Pops a ball that touches it. I'm gonna try and just do this a little Oh, okay. Where are my bombs? Oh, yeah, it just shoots two lots of bombs. Fair enough. I did sink an enemy and I got an achievement because I collected a coin that the enemy was carrying. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to try and sink you because you're angry. Got eight turns left. I'll get you off the wall. Nope, you're going to stay right there and I'll go down a hole. Fair enough. Hey, he said I'll get him off. Hmm, <laughs> phrasing. Uh, let's see, I might just focus here now. Hit that bomb. <laughs> Fair enough. That works. What are these? Teleporters as well. Okay. Try hitting an angle. Get in there. There we go. I've got four shots left, so I've got to be careful here, but I've got two enemies left to think. Very good. And I reach him. I'll just carefully... Get around there. Now this teleporter makes things complicated. I have two shots left. 
Don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Of course you go in. All right, uh, I'm in the teleporter, so <laughs> this is going to make things very difficult. Uh, but that's okay, so I'll be actually coming out over here. Take that shot, get in there. No. So I've lost, I've take, you take damage basically when there are balls left over at the end of the turn. So I'm not looking very healthy at the moment. Not the best start. Well, first game of the full version. Uh, after the first turn in each level, shoot eight mini balls around you. That's pretty, that could be good. A bit chaotic. If you defeat at least one enemy in a turn, gain 20% temporary shot power next turn. Or when you gain an item that is not another Trinity, gain it two more times and then destroy this item. Okay, so that can help me stack things up, but I don't mind the idea of this, the gang. Might also um, just uh, heal a little bit. Might also spend a bit of gold on an extra shot. That might help. We'll get the gang and here we go. Alrighty, there's a little trap there. There is a key. Grants me an additional item in the next shop, so that's something I probably want. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I hit that trap. I thought I was missing it. What are these bombs going to do? I might actually hurt my health. <laughs> okay. Got stuff flying everywhere. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to try and get you in that corner one. With the spike. There we go. Good shot. Okay. You're a bit angry over there. So that's... Might try and deal with you next. There we go. You've got the key. So if I defeat you, do I get that key instantly? I do. Lovely. Seven shots left. Two enemies to go. I'm going to try and hit this guy. Bounce backwards. Not the right idea. Little tap there. One left, and let's just uh, send it. Off you go, pal. See you later. Okay, seven gold. When an enemy consumes a healing pickup, there's a 2% chance for it to be defeated. <laughs> okay, so enemies can steal your health packs. We did forget about that. When you defeat an enemy, there's a 20% chance the healing pickup spawns. So that's good. 20% chance to activate each turn. At the end of the turn, apply the same force to the closest enemy as your last shot did to yourself. That's crazy. I think I want the Medic. And... Heal two and heal one for every two items you own right now. <laughs> okay. Levels contain one extra gem. When you take damage, gain gold. Um... Hmm. I think I'll just get that and... Uh, heal up a little bit, shall I? What's your story? Swordy. This rotating sword deals one damage to you on touch and then breaks. Shooty shoots a mini ball. Right, I need to get rid of you. I need to avoid your sword. Go. Bye bye. Okay, so my bombs will come out now. Crazy things flying everywhere. Put myself into a hole? No, not quite. Okay, can I clean you up? Yes, you're gone. Ah, oh, what about him shooting at me? Um, you go that way, please. I'll get shot at again. Damn. See, that can probably help me out, actually, if I do that properly. There we go. Oh, he's going to shoot me right in that hole. Oh, all good. I'll beat him to it. I've got six shots left. Maybe I can take the time just to collect a bit of gold here. Uh, maybe knock him into that bomb. Not quite. But he's holding some gold, so I can hopefully defeat him. Take it. Uh, let's try that. Just get close. And let's put him right there. Put in the hole in the end anyway. All right. Gain 15% shot power. Movement trajectory prediction is 50% longer. Gain two max health. Then heal two. Spawn two additional normally enemies. Hmm. 
I like the idea of this, actually, the spyglass. How much gold I've got? 18. And an extra item I could buy. I don't know if shop power is all that exciting to me, but I'll grab that. I'll grab that spyglass as well. We've got a bit more shop power. The die grants you one free item reroll in the shop. Enemies collecting it will transform into another random enemy. That sounds dangerous. Alright, we've got a beastie. He deals two damage to you instead of one at the end of the level. So we do want to kill him. Might just smack that and see what happens. Good. Lots of guys dead. Beastie's gone. Oh, I missed him, the boss. Oh, bit, of a, <laughs> bit of chaos there. I love it. If there are still other enemies, when this one is defeated, it respawns in a random position instead. The shooter variant. So I need to... Clean up all these fells before I can defeat him. I do this. Okay. Oh, he just shot that guy out of the way. Doesn't really help me too much. Maybe I can do this. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I thought it was going to shoot me straight into that spike then. Okay, dodged a bullet there. Uh, what can I do? Your light shot there. Oh, damn. Uh, what about this then? Come from this angle. Really need to get this guy out of here. Well, I've got four shots left. Hopefully I can... Uh, Get rid of this guy and then get back to that boss before I run out of time. He's actually better than that though. Okay, you're gone. Can I reach you from here? No. Wait, yes. How's this look? Get in there. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. Doing okay now. A rough start, but uh, back on track. It's over 19. Gain one gold for every percent of shop power. You have over 19% right now. Your shop power is not above 19%. Gain 7%. Okay. Make the outer walls of the level more bouncy. Scary. Levels contain two extra healing pickups. Could be good. But we're not after good. We're after chaos. So... I'm going to take an extra shot, and I'm going to take the ricochet. Ooh, I got an extra item too. Blackjack. Each level one enemy you touch transforms into a sleepy that deals zero damage. When you gain an item, there's a 20% chance to gain an additional copy. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Alright, what have we got here? You enemies, you are a pushy. Increases the speed of any balls touching it. Fair enough. Fair enough, I think I'll just... That's simple. Somehow I forgot that was happening, so for a second I'm like, what is going on? Uh, okay. Say so yeah, say so yeah, get that. Yeah, good. Alright, can I get you into that spike, maybe? Beautiful. You can join your friend. And I get you out of here. No. Um. What can I do with you? Maybe try this. Here's a bit of a bit of a different one. Right, that still counts. Beautiful. I want the bottled souls, I don't think. Um, I'm going to roll. Telekinesis. The gang. No, I've got to go the gang. And hope that this duplicator goes off, because I want two. It doesn't, but that's okay. Ulti. Spawns a normal enemy in a random position when defeated. Or a shooty. Got to get rid of you first. Ah, uh, hit the spike. Stuff going everywhere. 
none of it particularly productive, but that's okay. Get you out of here. Okay. I've got nine shots left, that's not too bad. And just comfortably think them one by one. I think you're primed to hit the spike. Won't even take the time to um some health. Oh nice. Okay, um Perfect. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that better if I tried. Okay, when you gain an item, also heal one. And one gold for every five gold you own now, and at the start of each level, 15% power. Hmm. Gonna roll. Duplicator. Perfect. We've got a swordy, we've got a berserky, we've got a slimy, nope, a sticky. Decreases your shot power for the next turn by 10% when you touch it. Fine with me. Um, how do I get rid of you? Might not even have to touch you. Damn. My god. Crazy. Alright, let's try that again. Ah, oh, you're kidding. You just don't want to die, do you? Well, I'm afraid you don't have a choice. I'll do this without going straight back into a hole myself. I don't think so. I'll just accept my fate. See, get in. There we go. Oops. Alright. Doesn't seem to be a big issue going in the hole, does it? Oh no, it does hurt me. Okay. I don't know. For some reason I thought it didn't. Would have been strange. <laughs> For there to be no penalty, but they that's alright. Uh where are we? If I do this, do you reckon I can get that health as well? Nope. I'm gonna put myself in the hole though. Treasure map. When enemy consumes a collectible, gain two gold. When you take a damage, gain one free item reroll. Really? Um, no. I'm gonna reroll. Destroy obstacles, gain gold. When you defeat a non-normy enemy, gain two percent shot power. Yeah, okay. I'm going to um heal up a little bit as well. Uh, golden eye drop. Now, and at the start of each level, you are blind for one turn, but gain five gold. When you spike an enemy, gain two gold. Now I'm going to go more the gang. Ball pile. Shoots out three mini balls that vanish at the end of the turn behind and to the sides of the collector. Okay. Robbie. Deals one gold for you on touch and then evaporates immediately if you have one gold. Beastie. Um, I do want to get rid of you. I'll go in the hole. I've right, got a couple of kills out of it, I guess. Um, get rid of you. Nope, go down the hole. Bloody hell. Uh, I'll go this way, I guess. Get these guys out of the picture. Or just not do that. Can you hit that other guy, do you reckon, and get him... Ah, oh, that's not good. I don't want to lose a gold, but I think I'll just have to... ...deal with it. Oh, man. Jesus. I died. That was it. Made eight levels and survived, survived 72 shots. But I unlocked an item. Fuel to the fire. Explosions destroy obstacles. 
Increase explosion radius by 10% and levels contain one extra bomb. Also, guard balls. When you take your shot, shoot two mini balls off to your sides that vanish after the turn. You don't collide with mini balls anymore. Interesting. I'm going to go again. I was not satisfied with that. 20% chance to activate each turn. When you take your shot, throw a bomb in the opposite direction. Uh, I think I'll go to the power this time. All right, we'll try again this time. We'll try and avoid uh, going down the hole 20 times. <laughs> Didn't mean avoid putting the enemy in the hole. I still want to do that. Well, that lasted, <laughs> that lasted a while, didn't it? Um, I just respawned and squished that guy, so that's cool. I think I did see someone on the, uh, on the Discord mention that was that was something that would happen. But I struggled to think when I would ever see that because I thought, how unlikely is that going to be? Well, there it is. Here, old shot. What do you do again? Oh, you deal two damage, so I do need to get rid of you. Please don't go in there. Don't go in there. Thank you. I've taken to pleading with the ball. Seems to have worked. <laughs> Had one shot left, so that's okay. Guard uh, balls. Yeah, that's my new unlock. What are you? Guardy. Shoots itself towards you if you touch another enemy first. I think I'm just going to pop you right in that hole. See you later. Uh, what have we got here? You can go in a spike. You're gone. Oh, that's a stopper. So that's going to interrupt you there. So I might just use you as a projectile. Okay, five turns left. I need to get this guy out of here. And to gentle tap there. Hopefully a nice little tap right in there. There we go. Good clean level. Three shots left. Um, gain two free rerolls now and at the start of each level. Heal two now and at the start of each level. I'll go past the healing, I think. A culty. Oh, Boomy explodes and pushes any nearby balls undefeated. I'll deal with you later. Really need to. Oh, that shoots a bomb that explodes on impact at the end of the turn if it was touched. Okay. Jeez. Now a few turns already, and I've only destroyed one enemy. Is a bit of a concern. Do need to get rid of. Oh, there's a. Of course, there's a teleporter in the way. I can't use. So. What am I going to do here? Oh, I can do it this way, I suppose. Okay, just need a little. Up there. Okay, what's going on over here? Things everywhere. Don't think I'm going to be able to get all these in uh, four shots. Somehow. Ah, down the hole. Um, so where does that put me here? Might be able to take out one more. <laughs> and myself again. But that's okay. When there's an explosion, gain two gold. Um, does sound good, but I think I'll re-roll. Interesting. 
permanently gain one additional shot, but one normie transforms into another enemy type this level. I think we can deal with that. What is this? Rocky. A big heavy enemy that is not easy to push around. Okay. Oh, look at these two sharing, a, sharing the gem. Isn't that nice? Achieved nothing. Need to get rid of you. Um, go for the spike or the hole? Maybe the hole. Okay, that works out alright. Good. Can oh, I've got six shots. Got to get rid of this guy without touching him, but I don't know whether it really matters that much. Focus on this guy is going to be difficult. Get in there. I'll reach him now. Oh, beautiful. Right, you get in. And uh, you probably gotten away with it. I don't think I can reach you. I oh, know. Oh, hang on. Does that count? Yes, it does. Okay, that worked out. Beautiful. Uh, do I don't think I want the mirror. I think I want the impaler. Let's roll. Each level contains two extra wall spikes. Healing. Yeah, one more roll. When you touch an enemy, you shoot one mini ball behind you. Oh, here we go. More guard balls, I think. Got another little Robbie. We have the boss there, so let's uh, body up these guys first. Put myself straight in the hole, as as anyone would expect by now. So, that's a bit chaotic. What are you? Missed you. Uh, you are. Oh, the guardy it shoots itself towards me if I touch another enemy. Okay. Well, I think I'll just. Oh, okay. Watch it a long way. That's fine. Uh, pop you in there. This is one of those games. It's like, you know, think of Bellatro, think of Bingle Bingle, Dungeon Clawler. It's just like such a simple concept. And you think, how's this going to work? But. Things just work as roguelikes. When you've got a dev that actually cares and some creative ideas, it's uh, amazing what you can come up with. You'd probably never predict that there'd be a billiards roguelike, but here we are. When you defeat an enemy, there's a 20% chance of healing pickups. Uh, gain five gold when you fall in the hole for the first time. <laughs> I'm going to get that just for the last because you know it's going to happen every time you're gone oh ouch I'm gone um what is that oh minus five so if I ran out of turns now there's one two three four five enemies okay gotcha I'll get you in that spike Maybe not. But maybe. Beautiful. All the way, go on, go on. Yeah. So, what are we going to do here? Can I hopefully. Oh no, the angles are wrong. But, but, what is this? Do this. No, I can't. What the? <laughs> Teleport me straight in the hole. That's lovely. Um, four shots left. Maybe I will just do this and just gently uh, tap myself in there. Oh, is that going to come back? It is. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Here's the answer. 
Beautiful. A couple of shots remaining, that's all right. Okay. 20% chance to activate when you hit an enemy for the first time. Another random enemy receives the same hit. That sounds pretty chaotic to me. And of course I got the key, so I get another item. Bouncy walls, explosions, or more guard balls. Yes, please. So, when I hit an enemy for the first time, there's a 20% chance that another enemy receives the same hit. Toxie. That sounds nasty. I'm going to try and deal with you indirectly. And fail miserably. I can afford a single damage, can't I? Oh, hang on. I don't need to sink you because you'll disappear. I'm just going to do that. Now, he's going to shoot at me when I hit this, so this will be interesting. All right. Now I'm stuck in the teleporter again, so that's lovely. Uh, which way am I going to aim? <laughs> Wonderful. Really don't enjoy this. Um, and we'll go up here. Oh, okay, that worked all right. Double to go. So how can I get this last fella? I've got uh, four shots left. A little tap into the portal, maybe. Please don't put me in the hole. Yeah, I think about this. What was that? Ah, telekinesis is activated. That's great, there's no one else left. I wonder if there's an item that lets you mini balls pick up uh, items for you. That would be pretty good. Uh, if you did not touch any enemies in a turn, gain three gold. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty boring. Let's roll. Go to the duplicator. I will buy another shot. I will buy some more power. That'll do. A bit of a rock and a culty. Get in there, yes. Okay, you're going straight for that spike, mister. Okay, I didn't realize that spike shot out of the wall. Good to know. What can I do with you without hurting myself here? I'm going to grab the key. Oh, please don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that'll teach me. I'm joking. He's tilted. There we go. Five shots left. I think this is the level I died on last run, so I'm already, already doing better. When you defeat an enemy, one coin spawns. There's a 5% chance it's a gem. Um, I gain health pickups to increase max health. Ah, boring. What else you got? Bouncy walls. Mm, Reroll. When you touch a spike, destroy it, heal one, and gain 1% shot power. Okay. The gain. Awesome. So I want to touch spikes, and I want to... pull in a hole at least once. And I want to put this guy in a hole before he stabs me. Right. <laughs> Fair enough then. Change my uh, focus to this side for a minute. Nobody wants to die, surprisingly. Okay, one down, two down. Try and touch that spike. 
Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you, Cannon. Hey. Okay. What am I doing with you? You go that way. Not really. Okay, that works. Oops. I'm not in too much danger at the moment. The danger is running out of shots before this level's done. Need a nice clean kill here. Well, <laughs> not so. <laughs> Wedged in. That's alright, we can take the hit. No dramas, no dramas at all. Broccoli, yeah, I guess. I'm gonna buy an item. What'd they give me? Oh, telekinesis, okay. Uh, well, then I'm gonna do it again. Wild ball. When you touch an enemy, shoot one mini ball in a random direction. Okay. I'll heal. I'll take my broccoli. Take my power as well. Let's go. Final level. Stoppy. A ball touching the rotating sign will stop in place immediately. But what if you are in a hole? Fair enough. What the? Oh, right, okay. There's like an order of operations. This guy shoots his, then I shoot mine. Um, I want to get you in there, but I don't want to play myself. I think a mini ball just saved him, actually. Ten shots left. One second. The one thing I was trying to avoid... Get in there. There you go. Alright. I'll be one of these fellas. That's alright. Excellent. Best thing about this game is you can shoot some random shot, pull off something ridiculous, and then pretend you're like you meant it all along. Just like billiards in real life. Oh, how's this going to go? Oh, hang on, hang on. Will this work? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll take that. All clear. 10 levels in 90 shots. I've unlocked binary. You only choose from two items, but gain three gold whenever you gain an item. Dice Juggler, before your first shot in each level, gain one free item reroll and one die that surrounds you until it transforms on enemy on touch. Okay, interesting. Beautiful. I'll take the win, absolutely. And of course, by doing that, now we unlock the wild run. Selected difficulty and length special run modifiers, chance for extra modifiers, or daily run. Delve for five levels, difficulty 10. All items available with special run modifiers. Okay, so that'll be interesting. So there'll be plenty to keep this game fresh and keep you coming back for more. So I, I look forward to playing a bit more of this, obviously. A lot more difficulty levels to go up as well, which looks like the... Uh, what's the term from uh, Slay the Spire? The Ascension? Where every every difficulty level has a uh, another little modifier to it. More obstacles, more special enemies, less health, more holes or less holes. But I notice you can go up by more than just one at a time. Like, I beat level one, but I unlocked all the way up to level nine. That's good. So if you want to speed ahead, you think you don't want to waste your time going one, two, three, four, you can just jump straight up to nine if you're really good. Like me. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Um, you can just go ahead and do that. So that's pretty cool as well. But I'm going to leave it there. So once again, Rack and Slay, check it out on Steam. I'll have a link in the description. Full release is out now. It's a 10% uh, launch discount. So... Grab it while it's cheap, or even cheaper than it usually is. 
um, and it's a really good time. So check it out. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. I like to cover indie games, upcoming games, new games, demos, that kind of thing as well. So uh, if that's the kind of thing that interests you, please consider subscribing. Helps me out, keeps you in the loop, and uh, I really appreciate it. So thanks again, and I will see you next time.